it is the roots roots and culture right here right now i'm the reverend dr ronald uh, white i'm an internist psychiatrist i'm an ordained unitarian universalist minister the most important thing is that i'm a father of family wife three daughters The first topic on, I'm going to discuss is meditation in the context of American spirituality. So this is not just a general topic. This is within the context of American spirituality. We have four features, Native Americans, African Americans, New England Transcendentalists, and then meditation on the West Coast was, was Zen. But that was very much a small thing. Then, then, what occurred is what I call the crack of the cosmic egg. The 60s psychedelics arrived and one of the major teachers of psychedelics is Ramdas who wrote Be Here Now. Very important book. He was of course a student of his guru, Neem Karoli Baba in India. So Ramdas really helped set the scene. But after that, another major occurrence arrived and that was Maharishi Mahesh who taught TM transcendental meditation transcendental meditation is not sitting meditation important distinction it's a mantra meditation but it was important and in fact in 1967 I like many people in my in my class pay my $35 Stopped smoking pot for two weeks, which was very different. Paid my $35 and then got my mantra. So I, I did mantra meditation for years. Like many people, I left that. And TM sort of faded, leaving what? Three big communities and movements. And that's where meditation is taught and practiced in the, in the United States today. Hinduism, Buddhism, Sufism. Meditation is practiced in these three communities, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Sufism. That third one is more of a mantra tradition, the, the mysticism of sound. It's a, it's a sound meditation. And the, the book called The Mysticism of Sound was written by Hazrat Inayat Khan. He's a Sufi. That leaves the other two that I mentioned, Hinduism and Buddha Dharma. So that's really, those are the big communities and that's where all of the meditation is being practiced and taught in the United States today. Now, many people take elements from all three. So that's so American that people do that. They take some from Hinduism, some from Buddha Dharma and some from the sound meditations like Sufism. I wanna mention two other factors that are very American. One is the psychology of meditation. Big important movement. A second big important movement is political spirituality. Very American political spirituality because it's very much influenced by the, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. The best example of that is Angel Kyoto Williams who wrote a book called Being Black. So these are progressive activist organizers who are applying meditation within a political context. So psychology and political spirituality. I'm gonna end by just mentioning one thing that's right on the horizon, although it's beginning to happen. And this is gonna be a school of teaching meditation going forward. It's not as big right now and it's on its way. Its main proponent is Wong who wrote this book called Being Taoist. So Taoism and Confucianism out of China and will be added to Hinduism, Buddhism, and Sufism as schools of meditation in the United States. Thank you.